This video goes over the basics of entering a partial differential equation, how to solve it, how to extract the solutions, and therefore how to plot it. Let's get started. Let's begin by looking at how to write a partial differential equation. The easiest way to do it is to use the palettes, and I use it under the calculus template palettes. Notice here we're going to write something that involves the derivative with respect to x and y. So let's call equation 1 colon equals, this is going to be a partial derivative with respect to x of u of x of y. And then we'll go to the right, plus, click on the partial with respect to y, tab u of x of y, go to the right arrow, equals 0, and that's how you write that equation. If you prefer to write it in terms of commands or procedures, eq1 colon equals a differential of u of x of y with respect to x plus the differential of u of x of y with respect to y equals 0, and it will produce the same thing. Notice you must ensure that you write u as a function of the variables. Maple cannot read your mind. To create a, an equation involving second derivatives, again, I personally find it's always easiest to use the palette. Let's do an example. eq2 colon equals, I'm going to do the second derivative with respect to x tab u of x of y, right, go to the right, plus say the derivative of x tab y tab u of x of y, go to the right plus the derivative of y tab u of x y equals zero. And again, if you wish to write it in terms of com procedures, commands, it's the diff function. You get to differentiate u of x of y with respect once and twice, plus the differential of u respect to x of x and y with respect to x and y now, plus the differential of u respect to x of y with respect to y comma y equals zero, and you get the same result. If you wish to write something to the fourth order, that's easy to do, but unfortunately, it is not something involves our palettes, so we have to use the commands here. We'll call this eq4, colon equals, let's take the fourth order derivative of u of x of y with respect to x, diff of u of x of y comma x, and I have to, I'd say dollar sign four, that will put x, 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 x equals zero. And finally, if you need to write out in something in terms of the nth derivative, eqn colon equals diff of u of x of y comma x dollar sign to the nth value equals zero. Now it will take the derivative of u of x to the nth term. So the next step is always to write the initial conditions or boundary conditions to these PDEs. The first line is relatively straight over, uh, straightforward. So BCE colon equals u of x comma zero equals zero comma u of zero comma y equals a. Exactly the way you write it mathematically. So writing the second line is a little bit more difficult because we need to use what's called the D operator to tell Maple to take the derivative with respect to the ver function at for a particular variable. So let's do the first one. We'll call again, these are boundary condition equations. It equals D with respect to the first variable of U of, okay, Evaluate it at 0, comma y. And the derivative with respect to the second variable of u, evaluate it at x, comma 0. Now we're actually ready to solve some of our equations. I've put up three different examples up here. And the procedure that does that is called PD solve as opposed to D solve. And PD solve basically requires you to pass the equations, uh, and usually it's uh, best to also pass it. What is the variable you're trying to solve for? So let's do for the first one, PD solve. 
open parentheses. Now we'll put in the equation that we want to solve. We'll put that directly in there, comma u of x, y. We probably didn't need to put in the function that we're solving for. Maple would have figured that out, but it's good practice because there may be confusion in the future. Let's try a second one, PDE colon equals, and I'll just copy my equation that I'm trying to solve. And again, solutions colon equals PD solve by PDE for u of x of y. Here's the last one, PDE colon equals. We'll copy this one since we know how to enter these things. Okay. Solutions colon equals PD solve of our PDE for psi hit escape of x of t. Close parentheses. And you notice it does basically here a classic type of separation of variables techniques. It says the solution will be in terms of two functions. Each function will be satisfying a particular ODE. Next, we ask the question, what if we want to include some sort of conditional equations, such as initial conditions or boundary conditions? So again, here is our function. We have one initial condition here. We'll hit enter to enter those equations. How do we solve it? We'll use PD solve. Again, we pass it the information just like we did with D solve, both the equation and the initial condition equations. And therefore, we solve for u of x of y parentheses, and it says the solution that works is that one. Okay, what if we actually want to extract the solution so that we can use it in a plot or to calculate a value or expression? Here is our very simple PDE. I've already written it out. I've already written it out with the initial condition. So let's solve it. Solves colon equals PD solve, open parentheses, open code bracket, PDE with the ICE colon bracket, and for psi of x of t, close parentheses, and there is our expression. Now, to use this solution, it's very similar to what we've done for other solutions. Psi, escape, underscore, underscore, sol, to the right, colon, equals. Let's evaluate psi, escape of x of t, from our solutions. And if we want to make a function from this, psi, escape, underscore, underscore, S-O-L, go to the right, colon, equals, make function of, from psi, underscore, underscore, S-O-L, go to the right, comma, X, comma, T, and now it'll be a function of X of T, and that's what it looks like. And we can plot the solution. Plot, of course, we don't know what the value of K is, so we got to put some, evaluate that, Psi escape underscore underscore S O L open go to the right of X comma one where K equals minus one four X equals zero to eight and we get a nice plot. Our next example is a little more complicated. Here is this second order PDE, which has to have three terms for which we have initial conditions or boundary conditions. I've given one initial condition and two boundary conditions, which is not surprising. X is the position. So let's solve for a problem. Solutions colon equals PD solve, open parentheses, open curly bracket, the PDE, the initial condition equation, comma, and the two boundary condition equations close curly bracket, so they're going to pass it. Four equations, we're going to be solving for u of x of t, close parentheses, and I'm going to help Maple by telling it to assuming positive. All my constants tend to be positive. The solution includes a summation, and this is what we're going to do is try to extract out a summation. So the first thing I always do is I combine the solutions. So solutions, colon equals combine solutions. And now everything is within the summation. Next, I want to be able to use the solution for a 
finite number of terms because I might want to plot it and I can't plot with an infinite number of terms. So let's create a function called u of x of t comma n where n is the number of terms. Colon equals, it is a summation, so I go over and I click on the summation button from n tab one tab big N, that's the number of terms, f copy everything in here and put that in there. And that's the way you can do it. Then if we want to test it, we can say u of x of t. Uh, well, actually, we'll call it ux0, t0 for three terms. Test it out. And as you see, it goes up for where the n equals three. And one of those terms happens to be zero. Again, if we have our solutions, which I've done in here, we can also plot it. Let's plot this where k equals 1, l equals 1, k colon equals 1, l colon equals 1. And let's plot u of x at t equals 0. We'll use 20 terms from x equals minus l dot dot l, close parentheses, hit enter, and that's what our plot looks like. If we would like to animate it, we can use plots, colon dash, animate, open parentheses. We're going to make a animation of a plot, shift enter. What are our elements within the plot? Well, that's u of x of t now for 20 terms, where x goes from minus l to l, and close bracket. How does t going to value? t is going to be equal to from 0 to 2, close parentheses, hit enter. There like that, click on that, hit enter, and we can see the animation. For a double summation, you can use basically the same copy and paste technique. While I may make a video about it, the associated document to this video shows how to extract out the term using Maple procedures. As always, leave questions in the comments and I will respond.